Hello, I'm Dr. Nausa Banur. I'm one of the founder and mentor of the Paces Care. Today, I would like to share about the format of taking history from a patient. History is very important for both station 2 and station 5. So, you will get 5 minutes before entering the exam hall where you can uh, uh, prepare yourself to take the history in a very comprehensive way. So, first in the white paper, you have to make these four boxes. And above the boxes, you have to write down the patient name and age, the chief complaint that will be provided in the scenario and any added information like is there any abnormality of his vitals does that have any patient patient have any long-standing hypertension diabetes if it's provided in the scenario you have to write it down here then on the four boxes well first box will do the analysis of the chief complaint the second box review of system the third box is the other history including the past medical history social history and the last box differential diagnosis considering the chief complaint you have to make a list of around five to ten differential diagnosis considering the importance on the uh, PACES, scenario, PACES exam scenario cases. The second one is the investigation that you'd like to offer to the patient. The extra question that sometimes in, a, some, in some special complaints we have to ask some extra questions. You have to write it down and the concern that will be asked by the patient. So let's go to the details of each boxes one by one. So for the analysis of the chief complaint, you can remember these great mnemonics that is the OD para. O for onset, D for duration, I for intensity, P for progression, A for aggravating factor, R for relieving factor and A for associated symptoms suppose the patient has a headache we have to ask when did the patient uh, when did the pain start and how long does the how long does the pain last and how's the intensity of the patient is it progressive or static uh, what makes the pain worse what helps to ease the pain and lastly the associated symptoms related to the a nervous system like any weakness in any side of the body any sensory abnormality any vision problem any difficulty swallowing we have to ask this many people after completion of the analysis of the symptoms goes to the review of other system but personal i prefer to go to the third boxes here now that is including the past medical history and the social and the other history so the uh, mnemonics for that box is the pam hits false p for past medical history including the patient's diabetes hypertension cholesterol status we have to ask this and the other p is previous similar episode before a for any allergy to any medication or uh, any food m for medication we have to take all the details of the medication history like all the current medication she is taking is she, is she adhere to her medication does she experienced any side effects to any common medication and most importantly any changes of medication happened recently then hits h for hospitalization i for immunization t for trauma travel transfusion and s for surgery and then the last mnemonics of this box is the FOSS. A for family history, does anyone of his family has similar complaint? O for OBGYN, it is for the female patient. Like we have to ask about when has his last period, if her period is regular, does she have any problem during getting pregnancy? Was the age of her last child? We have to ask this. S for sexual history, we don't have to take all the details of his sexual uh, history to every patient, but if we suspect a HIV, then we have to take the details of it. Like what's the of his you know, uh, of the gender of the patient does she have any other partners apart from her regular spouse or partner does she practice safe sex uh, any uh, any history of checking of hiv status before and lastly age for social history we have to take all the details of the social history of the patient and you can uh, remember this mnemonics for this social history that is the what read w for working condition and h for housing condition it means how the chief complaint affects his occupation and also his housing condition like uh, does she need any help at his home for like a mobility problem does she have any mobility problem does she have any support for regular day-to-day -day activity these histories are important because so that we can provide support to the patient through occupational health department or social service department then a for alcohol t for tobacco r for recreational drug and if the patient have any positive history to this we have to advise the patient to quit those habits and that if she needs any help we have to refer her to the uh, corresponding department and last ed e for exercise and d for diet 
So now, now go to the another box that is the review of system. So you just can simply uh, see to the patient and um, from head to toe you can ask question which is related to each system of the body. But if you want you can remember another mnemonics for this review of system that is the then FRCS pap swat. T for any temperature preference, H for headache, E for edema, N for nausea and vomiting, F for fever, R for rash, C for cough and chest pain, S for shortness of breath and pap swat. P for pain in the joints, E for urinary complaints, B for bowel habit, S for sleep, W for weight change, A for appetite and D for dizziness. You don't have to remember this mnemonics for review of system. As I mentioned you before, you can just look at the patient and ask any questions from related to his head to toe. Just don't, re just, uh, don't forget to mention about the urinary bladder complaint, weight change and appetite change. This is very important. So after that then we, uh, we will come to our differential diagnosis and the specific diagnosis of the patient. We have to talk to the patient and the what important investigation we would like to offer. Especially you have to remember if, if we want to go for any intervention like a CSF study or a CT scan or any imaging we want to do, we have to tell to the patient in our conversation. And lastly we have to address all the concerns of the patient. And another thing we have to remember, in some cases, an acute emergency cases can also present uh, also present to us in the history station. In that case, we have to also offer hospitalization. Just keep that in your mind. Taking history is very important for all the clinicians around the world. And any examination you note and name it, it, it uh, taking history is very important. You can uh, you, you have to take you have to very familiarize yourself with comprehensive history taking for MBBS, MD, USMLE, any exams of this world. So we have to practice the history station very well so that we uh, no, nothing will be missed. Thank you so much for uh, watching the video. I hope it will be helpful for you. And if you want to enroll in our course you can follow our facebook page and also subscribe to our paces care channel thank you very much